had to replace my bunk boards a few weeks ago while we were down at Smith Mountain Lake because they had deteriorated over the last four years that we've owned the boat. I didn't bother filming it because it wasn't that interesting. <laughs> but good morning, everybody. We are up and at them early. We got up around 6.30, got the campsite all packed up, and we are getting ready to get out on the water. It did not end up raining on us at all last night, really, while we were getting camp set up and um, eating and cooking cooking some bratwurst over the fire which is super awesome so and it is also spot not supposed to rain today and there's actually you can hopefully see there's some blue sky up there so aside from the conditions that were created from the storm yesterday it should be a beautiful day to fish I had to uh, make a quick trip to the restroom first so Josh is already out here making some casts he's already way over there Let's see if he's caught fish or not only catch up to him oh man it is hard to beat a morning that looks like this still some clouds from the storm that went through this this uh this reservoir is kind of crazy the water level can fluctuate about 30 feet over the course of the year which is why this ramp is as long as it is and why this dock is basically a giant floating dock because you can see how far up some of the driftwood makes it on this riprap bank i guess the u.s army corps of engineers controls the controls the water and they will raise it they will keep it around like 300 feet is how they is like average level they will if it floods, it'll get up to 320 feet. So it'll be, you know, 10, 20 feet higher than it is right now. It's, I think the water level is like 302 feet right now, a little high after the storm. But then they will intentionally let water out at the dam over the winter to allow for ice melt. So it'll go down in the, like the low 290s. Um, so it's definitely up a little bit right now, again, because of the hurricane that just went through, but it's allowing like a lot of what we were catching fish on yesterday was flooded flooded grass and brush it would normally be out of the water and so we think that's going to be one of the the big players here uh while the water is up a little bit but there are a decent amount of fish out here <laughs> decent amount of fish out here uh hitting bait on the surface freaking beautiful good to be out here all day Come get me. I'm on, I'm on the end of the dock. Is it my camouflage? Do I blend in? <laughs> he didn't even see me. I guess maybe my shirt kind of blends in with the rock bank from, you know, 100 yards away. Or, yeah, he's probably 200 yards away. It's so beautiful out. I thought I saw you looking back towards me. I was like, surely he sees me. Boom. worst places to be on a Saturday morning than looking at this. About to fish all of that. It's a 
impressive that all those logs have managed to like float in through all that. Hop over and check out the other side. Sure. Yeah, it looks like that it looks good. <clears throat> Dang, come it. Trying to go right to the right of it so I could land back in that, like back near the tree and pull it past it. Kind of want to go hit those, uh, where'd it go? There's a little aisle, which is hard to see. There's a little island out in the middle over there. That works. I want to hit that at some point. And then we may need to just start going, we need to go, maybe go all the way in the back of something. And yeah, that was my next thought. Because it's not seeming like there's much out here right now. Yep. I mean, I haven't seen any bait or anything in there. Took my hand off for half a second. Well, I got lazy for half a second, pulling my hood off. <laughs> when it happens, it's also like my tenth cast in the same spot. Yeah, there was one back there a second ago. It is a decent fish. I hear low ball in me. One nine. Indeed. I got a lot better color on him than. Is that a spot or a largemouth? Like spots are a lot more defined, right? Like the they have those verticals on their lateral line a lot more. Yeah. And they have that rough spot on their tongue. Nice. Oh, I do have a fish. I thought I had a fish. Might have to go get him. Oh, there we go. He swam off. Yeah, maybe. And he was like right up there. He must just be skinnier than the other one was. So one, he's weighing at one five. Yeah, one five. About, I mean, he's about the same size. Yeah. Uh, all right, then. I mean, I hit the water like right where that little tiny part of the dock dives down in, I don't know, a foot of water. And he had it 
pretty much right away. Not really echoed. <laughs> Oh, he ate it already. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. Down the down the gullet now. Nice. Yes, sorry, we disturbed your meal. <laughs> what do you think about running? down like way down river or down lake look for better water clarity <clears throat> apparently i hit the continuous button Dang. That's a spot. Isn't it? Gee, <sighs> roses. That's a good All fish. Right. That's three plus, probably. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> whatever. Here I was just thinking like, hey, maybe this offshore maybe this isn't it. spot isn't it. <laughs> maybe it's not a spot. They, they almost look like diamond, like clean diamonds, don't they? Oh, one kilograms. It's 1.55 kilograms, whatever that is. Maybe I won't use my scale. I don't know how to get all the kilograms. Did put it on mine. Where is yours? Oh, there it is. 313. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Heck yeah. I mean, we're, we were in like five feet of water, so you got them in like two, probably. Yeah. Well, I think you have big fish for the trip for now. Yeah. I'm glad that was a productive run. Yeah. My wife gives me crap because I don't think I've ever actually tried okra. You just like pop the whole thing in your mouth? Yeah. Alright, I'll give it a shot. I will explore new foods. Because I am an American. Crisp okra pickles. Hmm. How much like pickles do they taste? I mean, they taste a lot like pickles. Or but I... like normally? Yeah. Like okra? It's I mean, like this. Does That's this taste like a pickle? Yeah. Because this pretty... seems to not taste that dissimilar to the bacon wrap pickles that we do when we smoke them. Yeah, it's pretty pickle. Oh, I've spent my whole life hating pickles and I wonder if that's cheating. <laughs> These are good. Like, yeah. Far yeah, and I know it can be different kinds of, like, pickles are not all, like, all pickles are not created equal. Yeah. So I don't know how much of it is. I feel like no matter what, I've never liked, you know, your, your sliced pickles on a fast your food standard, burger, yeah. whatever. Like, I always get those taken off. 
and but I don't know whatever kind of pickles we smoke are usually good and these are also unfortunately good. <laughs> Have you ever tried like bread and butter pickles? I've heard of them. I don't think I've tried them. They're a lot different. This is kind of like that spicy dill kind of deal. Bread and butters are like less like really acidic and dilly and like part that and part like sweet at the same time. Document. I have to document this moment. I have to document this moment because my life might be changing. Apparently, I've always hated pickles for the most part, but apparently, uh, what do we have? Uh, crisp okra pickles hot that Josh brought. They're actually good. And he says they taste like pickles, which means apparently I like pickles. <laughs> I don't know. They're good. I do like, we'll smoke, we'll wrap pickles with bacon and smoke them, and I like those. So I don't know. Maybe I like pickles now. Oh, there's a big one with them too. Oh, dude, can you see that stool? There's four bass with him. They're all the same. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, line broke. Yeah. All right, calm down. That was crazy. Could you see all of them following him? I did. He just went right under, right under that thing. Nice. Two, six. Interesting. I thought about saying something when you made that cast. It's like you missed the tree. It's still another oh, yeah. 10 feet farther back there. I was relatively sure the one I had was decent because I never felt a thing. It was just line flying sideways. It's like, mm-hmm. Does fish. Get out of the freaking what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Those? No, it's a damn it. I like those too. <laughs> so good, man. I like dill pickle now. <laughs> it bothers me. <laughs> it's not who I am. My whole life's identity has been built on the fact that I don't eat pickles. <laughs> just realized a few minutes ago that we hit another or realized now that we hit a momentous uh, milestone a few minutes ago uh, on that 
point over there, <clears throat> we both caught fish off a couple docks. And we are on the North Carolina side of the state line that goes right through the middle of this lake. So we have caught fish in two different states on the same lake on the same day, which is kind of funny. That was dumb. I think he was just really little. Come to Papa. Love that. Yeah. One nine. Noise. I feel like I was pulling him forever just trying to get him out of those, out of the grass. And he finally broke loose. Also, I had made that same cast like five times. Over the grass and through the grass. And then he finally decided to bite. All right, we got some, we got brats, we got pole with sausages, we got jalapeno pepper jack cheese. Freaking delicious. And beverages in the cooler. All right, I promised my wife and my girls that I would take video of our campsite and our property, as they call it. So here's the campsite tour. We've pretty much only been here when it's dark, so the video is being filmed in the dark. But we do have a nice parking spot for the truck and the boat. We've got the tents, it's all set up uh, Friday evening when we got out here. They've been keeping us dry. We got a nice little fire pit over here, our beach chairs, and a picnic table. So we can eat off of or cook or whatever, save things. We have power and water, which is super nice because we were able to plug in this bug zapping lantern and we have no joke probably killed a couple thousand bugs at this point between last night and tonight it's a little ridiculous how many bugs there have been there was a big hornet in there maybe he got out oh there he is big old hornet in there but yeah lots of bugs that thing's been awesome